Fox 2's Camilla Mary joins us live to explain, Camille, some very, very heated opinions on both sides of this. Yeah, absolutely. And in this area, there are a lot of abandoned old buildings, but some say there's a lot of history here that should be preserved. At the intersection of Cass and Peterborough in Detroit. This was the heart of Chinatown, this building right here for decades. They would have Tuesday movie nights where they would show Hong Kong films. They had the Miss Chinatown beauty pageants there. My grandparents celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary in that building. So it was just the community space where we all always gathered. Abandoned for years, the building is slated for demolition. Olympia Development of Michigan has owned the property since 2004. But some say this building, more than 150 years old, is a historic gem that should be restored. It's completely rehabable uh, as it is. You can see through the windows that there are I-beams that, that are still holding up the walls, uh, and, and that, that's critical. For decades, Curtis Chin's family owned a Chinese restaurant next door to what was then a community center. I have a whole book. <laughs> it's called Everything I Learned, I Learned in a Chinese Restaurant. Curtis has mixed feelings about the slated demolition. I don't know if at the end of the day it makes sense to keep the building, but I definitely feel like they should take a pause and get some feedback from people and see, hey, what is the value of this? Is there worth it? So a lot of history here, and Chin also says it's kind of interesting because he says with the book coming out, he said he's had a lot of people ask questions about this area, the history, the history behind it, and just exactly the, what the culture was like here. Meanwhile, Olympia Entertainment, or Olympia Development, I should say, did release a statement saying that they have awarded the contract to a demolisher who has been in business for 25 years, a local business, and uh, meanwhile, they're also working with the city, with uh, the city very closely, trying to do determine what to do with other properties in the area. Reporting live, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Camille, but it sounds like this is a done deal, that this building is coming down. Is there any chance to possibly prevent that from happening at this point? Yeah, at this point, it's a done deal. I mean, you know, never say never, right? That old expression, you know, it's not over till the fat lady sings. But for right now, it is slated for demolition. The contractor is in place. We've got all these fences around. So I don't know exactly the right time that they're doing this, but it's boarded up and it really does look like it's ready to go.